make a YouTube video because I've been making these fidget toys and I wanted a longer platform to show how I'm making it and I just really like YouTube and I've always wanted to make one. So I found these fidget toys online and I'll link where I printed them all below. But I thought they were so mesmerizing and I wanted to start designing my own because I've been teaching myself how to 3D print lately. This is my pride and joy. I made a little Tamagotchi case for my Apple Watch. It like magnets together. And I'm a real fidget toy person. I have a whole drawer full of fidget toys because I find it really helps me, especially on like Zoom meetings at work. I just need something to fidget with. So my first thing that I tried to make was a little cat. It didn't really work and I only made like two little inserts. Then I made this eye, which I thought was really, really cool, but ultimately like doesn't really do the fidget thing as well. Like it kind of works like the one we had before, but just like not as good, right? And so now I've moved on to shapes. I made this triangle last night and I think it's cool, but one, I don't love the filament. I did a new one where it's like color changing. It's like two, two colors split in half. So the filament has like half green, half blue, and then it comes out to one side's blue and one side's green. And I thought it might look cool, but ultimately I think this reflective one is cooler. And so now what I've done is I've gone back to the drawing board because I identified a couple of problems. Is one, I really like this pattern. I think that it feels a lot like what are those like zen garden things where you have the sand and you have a little rake it kind of feels like that to me like it's very very soothing to make different patterns and so that's kind of what i want to achieve and you can see that the angle here is like too sharp so this doesn't have enough like wiggle room to actually make any patterns it's like kind of is starting but it also doesn't have enough layers so facing those two problems i designed a new one and this is more just a proof of concept so this is the new fidget that I designed. It's very similar to the original one that I really liked because I just wanted to see if I could iron down the details of how to actually design it and get it to work with one that I already know works before I can try other shapes and make them really good, you know? And so let's take it off the plate. With these, I have to put glue down because they don't stick that well because there's only one line of filament and there's no supports or anything. And so sometimes they can spaghetti out and just like, fail completely and it takes a long time to print so so you just put some glue down and then it's fine mm, it's not cracking <laughs> success it's not broken how cool are the lines it leaves in the glue okay <gasps> Guys, it works! I think it's even better because I think it has more layer lines than the one that I was using as an example. It's a bit bigger. I'm so excited. I really want to make one that's a cat. A lot of people have been suggesting love heart, star and flower. So definitely going to be doing those. But I think probably next will be a square because I think there's some sort of maths that I'm not understanding that would make a triangle not work. I will do this exact same thing in the triangle shape, like the same, um, all the same things that I made for the octagon, but do it in triangle with this many layers. And then we will see if the triangle doesn't work still but I love it. I'm uploading all of the designs I make onto printables as well. So the link is in my bio if you wanna try printing them yourself or if you wanna collaborate, you could even remix it. That'd be nice. And this video is sponsored by me, by my app that I'm making, which is called Happy Step Tracker and Pet. It's this little Tamagotchi style pet that goes on your phone, in a widget or on your Apple Watch, like I've got here. And it's the step tracker. So the way that you take care of your pet is by hitting your step goal for the day. And then you get presents and you get to unwrap them or he leaves a poo if you're not hitting your step goal. And so you have to clean it up by hitting your step goal. So it's a really good motivator to get walking. Anyway, a devlog is coming soon on it. So please ask any questions you have. And if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a follow because this 
this is a new channel and I am trying really hard to make YouTube videos. My goal is to make these kind of process videos of projects I make that, so that you have that perfect video when you want to eat lunch and you need a video to watch. Okay, thanks. Bye.